Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. This week we're gonna do something a little different, a little out of the ordinary. It's the season around, the, around North America and other areas where there's cold, maybe Siberia. You might be thinking, you know what? A tropical drink just isn't for me. I'm at a lodge, I'm sitting by a roaring fire. You just came back from skiing or watching a Pats game and you, you know, you're freezing. So what we decided to do is what's called a hot toddy. Let's take these off. So it's gonna use a non-traditional glass. It's not any type of alcohol glass. It's really just a, a coffee mug. We chose clear so that you could see all the action just happening in front of you. Uh, we also wanna try a little brandy. And the trick here is that a hot toddy can be a generic term used for anything, uh, Irish coffees. Uh, maybe it doesn't even have alcohol. What we wanna do now is define the hot toddy, the way that we figured out how it's supposed to be made. There's going to be two ingredients really. It's gonna be brandy, some honey. This time we're gonna go with the agave nectar. We have honey, but what I found is that the, the honey makes it super sweet. The agave nectar is sweet, but not too sweet. And the rather expensive whole cloves. What's this, like $11.99? $11.99 for, uh, for whole cloves. So really, if you're going to invest in making a hot toddy, plan to make a lot of them. And for our stirrer, we're gonna use cinnamon sticks. Kind of Christmassy. And the secret super main ingredient is it's just kind of like a lemon. It's not really that fancy. Now there's a trick to the lemon. Let's get started. We'll show you how to build out the lemon and then we'll get the ingredients in here. We're missing one key ingredient. It's hot water. We could use tea. Uh, you could use anything that's, uh, that fits the season, but we're gonna go with hot water because the ingredients here, we wanna keep them wholesome without tainting them with an, uh, yet another flavor. So let's get, let's get started. We'll show you how to do this. First, we're gonna decorate the lemon. What we'll do is we're gonna stick these cloves. Now, you, if, you've, if you've ever uh, seen somebody smoking cloves, same thing. This is, it smells just like that, the clove smell. What we did ahead of time is, besides cut the, the wedge, is we put two slices in each side, right down the side here. And the reason is we gotta poke these little guys, see these, these tiny little things into here. And if you don't pre-slice it, even when you do, it's a pain. Stick that right in there. There's one. Now if I could find out where I sliced it. Maybe I should have put like little markers on it. There's two. Now it's nice and pretty. This is uh, this is just little stab little cloves right in there. It's gonna add the, the final taste to it. And we'll do the, the sugars last. Put the lemon into the drink. Looks great. Toss in some brandy. We're gonna do one ounce of brandy. Small cup, so you don't wanna overdo it. Just let it sit right into that lemon slice. Now we're gonna do one ounce of the agave nectar. It seems like a lot. Agave nectar actually isn't too bad. When you go and you do this with honey, you're going to find it takes a long time to get it out of, the, uh, of this container, but this drip's pretty smooth. It's not as sticky and it's not as sweet. So there's advantages to that. If you like super, super sweet drinks, Try the honey. Not a big fan. I, I, I liked it, but it was not as good when I did the tests. So what we'll do is pour some water in there. Now it's kinda hot. They suggested that you, you don't want it to be too, too hot, or I guess you could just let it cool before you drink it. That, and if you're, if you're making a drink, you wanna be able to drink it. You don't wanna be Scalding hot. There you go. Looks kind of like tea. We'll do some stirring here. It takes a little while to stir it because you get the, the agave right on the bottom. But everything kind of just swirls together into this awesome concoction. I'm going to leave the the cinnamon stick right in there, just to keep it building the flavor over time. Makes it a little, it's, it's not very intense. Don't be afraid that the cinnamon's just gonna bombard your system. It's really not that intense. Let's give it a try. Tasties. You could taste a little of the brandy. 
you can uh, you, you really get the the sense of the lemon right on top floating there and the agave nectar is really where this plays it's it's not over sweet not super sweet well balanced with the agave nectar with the brandy the other trick is because you're not using funky teas and i, I don't know what it is but some people have said that it, it has like a medicine taste this recipe i, I don't get the sense of I'm drinking medicine. There are people who use this as a, a way to remedy a cold because you've got the, the honey or, or the, the stuff that coats your, your sore throat, warms you up. So, I mean, any excuse really. Very tasty. This was one of our write-in suggestions. They want to know how to make the hot, hot toddy. So there you go, steamy goodness. You can reach us at iTunes, Common Man Cocktail. Search for us, rate us. We really could use some ratings. We're already a featured podcast, but we want we want more comments, we want more ratings, more input. You could send me some emails, dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com if you want a uh, suggestion like this. This was a user suggestion. And you know, you can also just search for Everyday Drinkers and get all the cool podcasts and audio casts. I'm Derek Schomer for Common Man Cocktails. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>